Today I want to share how to make an easy fabric covered box that you sew rather than glue. There are lots of tutorials out there that are no sew, but no sew doesn't always mean it's easier. Personally, I hate glue. It's messy, sticky, and requires patience, which I'm in short supply of. I'd rather just sew up a few straight stitches to make some cute fabric boxes. And bonus points, with sewing it, you can remove the fabric and wash it, which is great if you have kids. The supplies you will need are a box, fabric, and of course, a pair of scissors, pins, clips, and a sewing machine. The first step is to measure your box to determine how much fabric you will need to cover it. You will want to measure the length and width of the box by the height and width of the box. My box is about 17 inches by 17 inches, so I cut my fabric to be about 21 inches by 21 inches because you will want to add about 3 to 4 inches to your measurement so the fabric can overlap the box a little bit. Though if you're a fabric quarter like me, you can just grab a piece of fabric, wrap it around the box, and determine if you have enough. For the lining fabric, you will want to measure the length and width of your box and add 2 inches to that measurement. And then you'll want to measure the height and half the width of your box and you'll want to add about 4 to 6 inches to that measurement depending on how much overhang you want for the lining fabric to have. My measurements were 17 inches by 9 inches, so I cut out my fabric on the fold measuring 19 inches by 13 inches. My 19 inch measurement was on the fold, so my final measurements for my lining fabric were 26 inches by 19 inches. You will want to iron out your fabric since you want the fabric to lie flat and crisp against your box. For your lining fabric, you will also want to hem the top of your fabric. Simply fold the edge over once, iron, fold it over once more, iron, and pin the hem in place. Or you can just take it right over to your sewing machine and top stitch it. You can also use decorative stitches if your sewing machine has them for your top stitch. Once you're finished with your lining, we're going to work on the outer fabric again. You're going to want to center the box and clamp it in place. I'm using Wonder Clips, but clothespins work just as well. And if you don't have those, binder clips work too. First, you're going to want to clip the fabric on opposite sides, so that way you can pull the fabric tight against the box. After you've clipped the fabric in place, you're going to want to pull out the fabric at the corners till it looks like triangles have formed. Flip the box on its side and start marking the corners, but the easiest way to get crisp corners is to use a piece of chalk. Rub the chalk against the edge of the box to get a nice straight line. Once you've marked all four corners, you're going to pin it in place. You're not pinning the fabric to the box, you're just pinning that fabric that is forming the triangle so that way it keeps the fabric from shifting whenever you remove it from the box and when you start to sew. You're going to pin all four corners. Once you're done, you can unclip the fabric from the box and remove it. Take the fabric to your sewing machine and sew up the four lines you've just marked on your fabric. Take your fabric to your sewing machine and be sure to front and back stitch on each of your seams that you create. You're going to be sewing along that chalk line you created earlier. Once you're finished sewing, you're going to clip off the four corners. Depending on the size of your box, the scraps fabric can be used for many different projects, such as making a cute zipper bag. Okay, now grab your box, flip the fabric right side out, and shimmy the fabric up the box. If you want the fabric to be a little more secure to your box, you can take a dab of, dare I say it, glue to keep it in place. 
I use a little bit of hot glue to just pull the fabric a little tighter against the box and that way it stays in place. Once your outer fabric is in place, grab your lining and slide it around the box. And ta-da, your fabric box is finished. These fabric boxes are so versatile and can be used anywhere. You can use it under a changing table, on a coffee table to hold remotes, you can even use it as a chic toy box. The possibilities are endless, so just get sewing. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you liked it, go ahead and hit that thumbs up button. And if you'd like to see more videos from me in the future, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching!